Okay, so how do you capture clips in CSGO? Say you hit a really good clip and you just want to simply save it with the push of a button and not have to record your entire game to go back and get that clip. If you've been around my channel for a little bit, you guys will know that I like to clip a lot of things, especially when I'm streaming to go back and to put them into montages or highlights or whatever I'm making. Today, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I use and exactly how I do it. I do want to quickly add in though, the method that I use only works for people with an NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card or graphics chip in your computer or laptop, then unfortunately you're not going to be able to do this. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download this program called NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Basically, this program is what allows us to go back and clip our games. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how this works here in a second, but go ahead and download and let this install to your computer. I'll have a link in the description to this download page just to make this nice and simple for y'all. Now, once the program is fully downloaded and installed to your computer, you'll know if you did everything right by simply just going back into CSGO and clicking Control, Alt, and Z all at the same time on your keyboard, and it should bring up this menu right here. Now, this should work after simply just installing the program because this program may is just a background program that runs on your computer you don't have to open up the application to enable it every time it should automatically be in the background of your computer every time you boot it up and you should just be able to go into any game and be able to press Control alt z on your keyboard to bring up this menu anyways though this is the best method i've found so far for being able to record your clips live in game you guys can see the option for instant replay right here is exactly what i used to do so and to turn this on just simply go ahead and click it and select turn on which should be right here now before you turn it on though you are going to want to configure some settings first and you can do this by simply going over here and clicking this gear icon wheel right here. It's going to bring you to all the settings for GeForce Experience, and from here you have control over a lot of things. Now my settings are probably going to differ a lot from what you guys might want, so don't worry about copying my settings exactly how I have them. Everyone's going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to show you guys where you can find these general settings, the very important general settings, so that you know where they are. The first settings I would take a look at are going to be in the recordings menu right here, and this is pretty much where you're going to be saving your files to. The next thing to take a look at is audio. If we go ahead and click on audio, this is going to be the settings for all of your audio sources coming in for your clips. Now what's really cool about GeForce Experience is you can actually separate both your microphone and game audio into separate tracks. I always make sure this is on because it's the most helpful thing when editing these clips in post, believe me. Anyways though, here you can adjust the levels of the volume of all the different sources of audio coming in directly from when they're being recorded. You guys can mess with this if you want, but it's kind of up to you guys what you want to do with it. Of course too, make sure that you have your right microphone selected. Obviously I have multiple microphones on this computer and my AT2020 USB is actually the one I'd always want to make sure I'm using because that's the best microphone I got. Make sure you do have your best microphone selected because I have recorded clips on no microphone or my really crappy mics and been like, oh, God damn it. After that, though, the next thing you want to configure, probably the most important thing to configure, honestly, is going to be all the way down here towards the bottom under the video capture option here. If we go ahead and click on this, this is going to be where you can toggle all of your settings for how your clips are actually being recorded and the quality that they're being recorded in. This is where you can basically adjust the quality of your clips, the bitrate, the frame rate, the resolution, and exactly how long you also want your clips to be. Again, these settings are going to differ for a lot of people depending on what resolution you're playing the game in, first of all, how many FPS you're getting in game, and then also how high quality you want your clips to be. First, I always set my length to a minute and 30 seconds, and you guys can see it even gives me an estimate of file size too. And then for quality, I always do a custom preset. I always play the game in 1440p for the most part, and of course, I want my clips to be in 60 FPS, so those are my settings right now. And as for the bitrate, basically in simple terms, it's how good good that 1440p footage looks. I always make sure this is maxed out, but it definitely gives you a very large file size, so do just keep that in mind. Anyways, though, that's pretty much it for settings here. That's all you gotta worry about when you're first setting up your instant replay, your clips here. And, uh, yeah, once you got all of that configured, again, just go back and simply turn it on. It'll make you turn it off while you're adjusting all those settings. And then from there, to save a clip, you can simply just come back into this menu and click save right here, or you can use the keybind, which is Alt F10. And obviously, if you want to change that keybind, you can do that as well. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I personally record my clips here on the channel and i know this is a very popular way for most nvidia users out there so definitely make sure you guys check this out if you're an nvidia user and you want to get some game clips in game this doesn't just work for csgo this works for any game too keep in mind and uh yeah with all that said though thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it did help you out and if it did definitely make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you are new and with all that said i'll see you guys all in the next video peace